Jonathan Alter recently wrote a book called The Center Holds Obama and His Enemies, and in it there is a great deal of uh, interesting anecdotes about Roger Ailes, who runs Fox News Channel, of course. Apparently Rupert Murdoch thinks he's a little bit off, uh, but he thinks, well, on the other hand, the guy makes me a lot of money, which he does, to be fair to Roger Ailes. He does his job well at Fox News, riling people up. Um, but he does have um, interesting proclivities. And so Murdoch is quoted as saying, convinced that the whole News Corp building was bugged, Roger Ailes was apparently, Roger came in over the weekend to work in the only room that he thought was secure, a supply closet. <laughs> now that's Murdoch telling senior staffers that that's what Ailes is doing. Okay, so that's crazy. That's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. It is. Um, <laughs> how does he know that? Now, Obviously there was a camera in there, that's how he knows it. Now, but, if, but you run the place, why don't you debug it? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but the guy who thinks that is the guy who bugs other people. Mm -hmm. He assumes that everybody is doing what he's doing. So he thinks, well, if I'm bugging people, they must be bugging me. Yeah. So uh, we're just getting started here. Uh, next uh, is this revelation. Ailes trying to bomb-proof glass for his office because he thought homosexuals outside News Corp headquarters on 6th Avenue might shoot at him. He settled for drawing the blinds instead. <laughs> it's cheaper. Jesus, that's a crazy person. Yeah, that's a crazy yeah, person. It's a crazy, it's a certified like crazy person. Like, gay activists are going to shoot Roger Ailes? Through his windows. A, through his window on the sixth floor? Are, are, is there a lot of gay terrorists running around that we're not Shooting familiar with? from the ground? And just yeah, and how like rent a room across the street or something, I guess. No, no, this guy is like like clinically paranoid. Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Well, running through it, so there's the, the, if you were worried about bugs, you're probably bugging people, there's that. And there's obviously the paranoia. Like, at some point, I guess, he's, he's riled up so many people, he's been involved in so many ridiculous things that I think that there is some actual paranoia. But somebody who is this worried about being watched and people knowing what you're doing is up to some incredibly shady shit, and not just the bugging people. Like, he's closing his blinds, he doesn't want people to see him on his computer and things like that. God knows what he does in his private time. Well, we do, we, well, it's not just God. We know he has, <laughs> he bought a, a, a paper in upstate New York uh, for himself, not related to News Corp or Fox News, and he wound up tracking all the people who worked for him, and he got, and uh, and they like they'd be out to lunch, and they would see a private security guy from Fox News, and they'd be like, "What the hell are you doing here?" And they knew the guy. They're like, "Bob, what are you doing here?" It's like, "Oh, sorry, Roger had me track you." Okay, <laughs> and then Ailes would know conversations they had in private over lunch. Okay, so it's. Is he up to shady stuff and is he bugging other people? I mean, read the story about the upstate New York or watch our YouTube video on it from about a year ago. Yeah, but there's more madness. Ailes demanded the security throw a Muslim looking man out of the building and the man turned out to be a janitor. Mm. No, now this is the guy who runs Fox News. You think that Fox News, that we're, that's not permeating throughout the building, that Muslims are, to be, are dangerous and should be discriminated against? Where was this story from? It's from Jonathan Alter's book, The oh, Center Holes. Right, okay. right. So, I mean, here's a guy who, who sees a guy he thinks looks Muslim and immediately throws him out of the building without asking questions. Turns out he works for him, right? Yeah. Now, that guy is not going to give out an impression to his coworkers that perhaps if they were to demonize Muslims, it might not be such a bad thing. It might be fairly rational. Because yeah. if you see someone who even looks Muslim, I mean, you, they should be escorted out of the premises. And then tracked. Right. So, and again, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs on the paranoia. And apparatchiks monitored their email. Uh, this is what uh, the people that worked on their ails were concerned about, according to Walter's book. Appar apparatchiks monitored their email like the Stasi and wreaked vengeance at his command. And now, uh, I know people who worked at Fox News, and in private conversations with me, they have confirmed, not the Stasi stuff or anything like that, but that if you cross Roger Ailes or News Corp, there would be consequences. And they were very scared and warned me, hey listen, don't go after Ailes that much, because he hires people to look into you, okay? Mm -hmm. And if you worked at, at News Corp or Fox News, they're scared to death of them. They have this Pro, another room called the Brain Room, etc., at, at Fox News, and and that's apparently like no one else can access it except the intelligence community within Fox News and Ailes, and people are afraid of what's going on in that room. Yeah, C crazy man, crazy man. And then finally, 
Uh, he has a theory as to why people don't like him. Oh, okay, good. Why is okay. that? Is All it right. because he thinks the gay people were going to shoot him from Sixth Avenue? Is it because he hates Demonizes Muslims? Muslims. And, uh, is yeah. it because of all, every hateful like thing Fox News has ever said? Deliberately spreads misinformation to millions of Americans right. on a nightly basis. Mm -hmm. No, undermines democracy right. at every turn. No, shockingly, it turns out that's not the reason. No, okay, here's well, the reason: hmm. they hate me because I'm fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we love fat people. Uh huh. I didn't know that's why people hated people. No, like, like that's why I hate Rush Limbaugh. That's not why I hate oh, Roger Ailes. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, so I have a strong opinion, and so a lot of people hate me online, right? Mm -hmm. I never th once thought, it's because I'm fat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this might be the craziest guy in America, yeah. and he runs Fox News, the head of Fox News, and gets paid millions of dollars to do so. It's too bad that uh, like Chris Christie's not popular. Mm -hmm. Or Fat Albert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chris yeah. Christie, only yeah. at this point, literally the most popular governor in America. Right. And imagine. People love if, Family Guy. Imagine if people right. didn't hate him for being fat. God, <laughs> he'd have like 98% popularity. Yeah, he'd be the most popular person ever. <laughs> no, right. but how, really fast, how perfect is this, though? That you have, like, the information that Fox News puts across is disseminated out to all of the people all over. Men in Kansas have these crazy beliefs about Islam taking over America. Like, he's creating this insanity all over the world. And, like, you'd think. The way it tends to work in movies is that at the top of it is this mastermind who knows exactly what he's doing. But no, it's actually someone who's just as crazy as the people at the bottom end of the pyramid. That's, that's, that's yeah. yeah. And what's fascinating, that's a great point by John, is because the crazy filters down that pyramid. Mm -hmm. Like we've turned a third of this country nuts because one insane person happens to be running an incredibly powerful cable news yep. channel. One fat insane person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> don't the bad, insane bad, I don't bad. mind. Yeah, I don't mind. Have you seen that guy's <laughs> weight? Woo. Yeah. I hate guys like that. <laughs>